Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Just want to take a couple minutes today and show you one of the coolest features of the MeasureQuick application, which is the, the flexibility of being able to use multiple probes from multiple manufacturers at the same time. Uh, right now, I know a ton of you guys own these uh, Testo uh, probes over here. I've got the basic refrigeration kit hooked up where I've got the, the high and the low pressure, the liquid line temperature, the suction line temperature. These are great probes, and if I had a set of these, I wouldn't even hesitate to use them uh, because you know, Testo does a really, really, really good on, on accurate measurements. That's probably one of my favorite things about Testo. I've been using Testo products for a lot of years. But, you know, if you wanted to get uh, extend the range, like let's say you really got to have that long range and you just can't get it out of a, out of a set of uh, Testo hydrometers right now, well, we can tie in right, what's here. The, these are the field piece uh, JL3RH probes. These have a really, really long range. But typically, you couldn't use Testo and Field Piece at the same time, but in MeasureQuick, you can. So let me show you how we're going to do that here. So I'm going to go ahead and power up MeasureQuick, and uh, we'll go ahead and connect the, uh, the Testo probes that are already running. So we go into the toolbox, and I'm just going to activate those. And if I tap on the probe manager here, you'll start to see all those come in and connect. So we'll just let those connect. You don't have to be in here to see them connect. They'll do it automatically as soon as you hit connect. I just wanted to see them come in the toolbox. So you can see you got my condenser pressure, my low pressure, suction line, liquid line, outdoor air. So now I'm going to go back, hit the back button here, and I'm just going to go in and turn these probes on. So I got supply and return air. I'll get those powered up. And let's see, there we go. Got to hold that for just a second. So now I got supply and return air on. All I'm going to do now is hit add new tools. It's going to go out and scan, and it'll find the job link probes, which it's got there. I hit save. And now I have to tap activate to activate those. I go in the probe manager. And they're already mapped to supply and return air because I've mapped them in the past. So measure quick holds your mapping in there so you don't have to map them. But if yours come up and they just say hydrometer and doesn't say supply or return air here, you tap on that and now you map it to the function that it's, that it's doing, right? So I'm just gonna hit cancel because mine are already mapped over. If you look in the back here, this 3366 is 3366. So that's my, that's my supply air temperature probe and that's what I'm gonna put in the ductwork. So I'm gonna go up here supplier and a duct work just tap that in that's good to go and now come over here and close our filter grill up and we'll put this probe on the return air so now I got a return air reading and now if I come back over here to measure quick and I go to my outdoor air readings you can see I got my return air it's coming in suppliers coming in and everything's measuring uh, just the way it should and and now we got a full set of measurements. So now I can add in my redfish meter, I can add in my testo probes, whatever I need to make my measurements work, and I can map those probes over, this, over to that specific function. So it offers you a lot of flexibility. And the reason I'm telling you this here is, if you have a testo kit, you don't have to switch all the way over to field piece if you, if you want to continue to use your testo probes. If you have the field piece stuff, you can add in, a, like say, a testo manometer. Field piece doesn't make a manometer. So it allows you to do different things with different tools and get everything in one application for, to get your job done the way that you want to get it done. So anyway, that was a quick overview of how to do that. And if you've got any questions or concerns, just type them in at the bottom. Don't forget to map your probe. That's one of the number one things when people put something in the toolbox, they forget to map it. Don't forget to map your probes and you really won't have any problems. This is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.